here with Eric Mahalik, winner in gold tonight. Eric, senior night. Team's coming off a tough loss last night. Talk about the, your performance tonight, senior night. Had to be pretty special. Well, you know, I just wanted to do what I uh, what I do every night is just go back there and give the boys a chance to win. And uh, you know, I was able to do that. And it was uh, it was a good night for the boys, and we won. And it was great. Okay, you guys score. You go up 2-0. Then boom, they go right back at you, two to one. Boy, they're really putting a lot of pressure. Talk about what was going on late in that third period. Well, you know, I mean, anytime you have a one goal lead or a two goal lead on a team, they're going to come hard, and uh, we just had to weather it, and um, that's what we did. Uh, you guys have a week off now with the bye. Uh, congratulations on the second place finish. Talk about what you know, you're a senior. You know, what are you guys going to do to stay focused when the playoffs start up in two weeks? Well, I mean, it's it's pretty easy to get get ready for the playoffs. You know, those are uh, those are huge games. Every single one of them. Um, I mean, we got a we got a nice bye week, so we'll probably take it easy for a week. Get get everyone rested up, uh, and then uh, we'll turn our focus to whoever it is we're playing. And then uh, it's got to feel pretty nice for you, senior year. You guys are going out on a pretty high note as far as team. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is one of the most fun teams I've ever been a part of. You know, um, you know, as far as on the ice and off the ice, they've been. It's been a blast. It's been a great, uh, great year for us, and hopefully we can keep it going. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, here with Don Vaughn, coach. A big two-one win tonight over Dartmouth. Senior night tonight. It's a great night to reflect on what went on this season. I don't think you're picked second in the preseason. Talk about what your team has gone through, especially in this league season. Sure. I mean, it was uh, a team that was picked to finish ninth early on. And, you know, th this group is, uh, has really matured, you know, over the course of the season. And, and we knew coming in it would be a process. We were 17 freshmen and sophomores. And the guys bought in early in the season what we wanted to do and how we were going to do it. And we just continued to stay at it. And the, the, the great thing about this team is how resilient they are and, and the, the short memories that they have. They knew on some nights when we lost, and we lost badly early in the season, that it was uh, it was all about the process and getting better and hit the reset button on Monday. And uh, that's what this team has done all year long. And you know, I'm, I'm just really proud of them. But I'm especially proud tonight of our two seniors. Um, you know, Mike, Mah Mike McCann had a really tough week, uh, was battling some pretty serious tonsillitis, and um, he was able to overcome that. And didn't skate much this week and put in a great effort tonight. He played great uh, defensively. And what can I say about Eric Mahalik? I mean, he hasn't played a lot here. Uh, he's uh, he's taken on a, a great leadership role. He's helped our goaltender, our young goaltender, uh, Charlie, so much uh, throughout the course of the season. For him to go out there tonight and perform as he did, he was the he was the best player on the ice. So I'm really happy for them, and uh, you know, great for our team to be a second place. Yeah, you're talking about resiliency. You guys lose two to one last night. Tonight's a two to one in your favor. Tough, you know, second division teams. They're both battles. That kind of shows you what this league's all about. Well, for sure. I mean, you know, there's no nights off in this league, and, and you know, everybody's going to bring in. And I still think anyone can win this league. You've got to play your best hockey to win. And, you know, we've put ourselves in this position. We, we, we wanted the buy all year long. It was one of our goals. Uh, you know, second place, uh, we'll take that. And I think we got it outright because I, I understand uh, Quinnipiac tied tonight. So, you know, we end up in second place by a full point and uh, couldn't be more proud of our guys. And, you know, and we know we've got uh, a couple of weeks off to rest and get ready for you know, probably another tough opponent for sure. Uh, last night was a 2-1 loss. So you talk about resiliency. You come back at it tonight. Shows you what this league's about and how you know the playoffs are going to be any, anybody's game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is a tough league. You, you can't take a night off, and regardless of who you're playing, and you know we uh, we get a rest now. We're going to you know get a couple guys healthy again and and be ready for a really tough opponent, regardless of who that is coming in here in a couple of weeks. But to be at home is going to be great and. Uh, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, any plans? Uh, you, you, you've been through this before with the bye. You have it without the bye. Uh, you know, what are some things that maybe you do as a coaching staff with a team with a bye? Yeah, we've done it a lot of different ways. Um, we'll certainly give them some time off probably this week. I think, uh, you know, after next weekend, we know who our opponent is. It'll be, you know, business as usual. It'll be a regular week of practice. Uh, but we'll take a couple of days this week, get our guys on top of their classwork because right now, you know, they're coming into midterms uh, before before March break. So they've got a lot of work on their plate on the other side of campus. So to be able to get out front on that with no games this weekend clears their head for next uh, for the next uh, you know uh, big weekend uh, in the playoffs so it's all good uh, Raiders finished second place congratulations coach great thanks John